This is the silver premium swindle and how you can avoid it. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. This is a bit of a different video and it's been a very controversial topic in the silver stacking community as of late. Yet another silver raid has been planned and from what we've learned, the only outcome of organized raids have been increased premiums on physical silver. A deceptive message has been sent out to the community to participate in this raid on a Sunday when local coin shops are closed. Oh yeah, and an affiliate link was provided from the organizer to purchase bullion from online dealers. Luckily, from this group effort, the raid organizer has drastically backpedaled he realized he was wrong. So without further ado, here's a collection of clips, messages from multiple silver stacking channels who have band together in an anti-raid effort. Hey everybody, how you doing? Stormy with Empire Precious Metals. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you should not participate in silver raids, especially the one that's being discussed for May 15th of 2022. First of all, physical metal prices have no correlation to the commodities exchange as discussed on my previous videos as well as other stacking channels within the YouTube community. Also, as stackers, we want physical precious metal prices to stay low. Raids, they just cause temporary increases in premiums, minimum orders, and shipping delays. It's a losing proposition. All you need to do is ask the people who bought thousands of dollars of silver uh, last year and how they feel about their silver now that the prices have dropped about 10 dollars per ounce lastly stacking it's a long-term strategy if you're looking for quick gains then you need to be trading crypto or stocks so be smart don't raid on may 15th 2022 salivate metal here one of the reasons why i'm against a silver raid is because not only does it increase premiums and delay shipping but also you don't know what the spot price is going to be on the day of the raid Many of these raids are planned well in advance, days or even weeks. But nonetheless, the spot price could drop dramatically in days before or after the raid. And so therefore, when you make a coordinated buying purchase of silver, the following day, the price could tank. I'm okay with losing 3 to 5% of my investment right off the top. I'm not okay with losing 30 to 40% right off the top. That's why I've switched to gold. That's why I don't participate in said raids or anything like that. So I don't do it. But I know a lot of you out there, you can't always afford to buy gold. It actually hurts you more because it drives up your cost. And it doesn't allow you to stack as much as you can. So I get it. I understand uh, the reasoning behind it. But I'm not I'm not one to tell you what you can and can't do with your, with your money. But uh, if you was to tell me I was going to lose 30 to 40% right up top, there's no way in hell I'd invest in this. And it took five to 10 years to get my money back, if I ever did. Why I do not promote or participate in these group efforts to buy silver, and why I will not be promoting or participating in this silver raid on May the 15th. What happened all the previous times that we had these group efforts to buy silver? What was the result? 60% premiums on American Silver Eagles, 35% premiums on Canadian Maple Leafs, over 20% premiums on generic silver rounds and bars. And what's going to happen on this next attempt to raid silver to clear the dealer shelves? Higher premiums than the last time and the only people benefiting from these group efforts to raid the dealer shelves clean are the ones selling it and the ones who are going to be stuck holding the bag underwater in their silver stack are the ones buying it. Just say no to the silver raid on May 15th. Hello everybody, it's Spectacular. This silver bar right here of 100 ounces represents what influencers asked you to buy about this time last year, around 100 ounces. If you did that, if you followed their advice, you're down about $600 plus on your investment today. Now listen, silver should be an investment that everybody owns in my opinion, but at your own leisure and your terms when you're ready when you can financially afford to get some here and there ask yourself why do these companies why do these influencers why do these social media people 
Why do they recommend that you buy, buy, buy? And especially at certain times, they're working with big companies that need you to buy this stuff. Don't fall for it. Buy silver on your terms. Hello, I'm Backyard Bullion, and I'm a huge fan of all things silver. But I'm also a big subscriber to the idea of responsible silver stacking. And to that end, there are five key principles that I subscribe to, which help keep me safe and grounded as a silver stacker. Buy silver on your own terms. Buy what's right for you. Buy when the price dips, and not because it's cool, fun, and trendy, but because it is the right time for you to buy. Understand that silver is a long-term, serious investment, and it's about preserving your wealth over time and being your own bank at the end of the day. And despite how many times you might hear it, silver is not going to the moon. So stack safe, stack responsibly, and enjoy the silver that you buy. The silver used for the production of coins is just a few percent of the total silver market. So the only thing that will be influenced by a silver rate is the premiums. And this is the reason why people benefiting from high premiums support silver rates. Don't overestimate the power of our community. A silver rate will not have any impact on the silver markets. You have a lot of people trying to get clicks and likes and views, and they're reading along the narrative that people like to hear, which is silver's going to the moon, but if silver went to the moon, it's because the dollar's dead. I'm not saying don't buy silver. Of course, silver is a great asset to own and it's super undervalued right now, but you are not gonna move the needle in any kind of way. And when you see people on the side of the masses, it's time to pause and reflect. But Silver Husky, the masses aren't even buying silver. Uh, you're right, but I'm talking about the masses within the few, right? The masses within the silver stackers. What are the masses doing? Don't do that, right? Do the opposite. Do do what the, the ones who are actually creating wealth through buying and selling silver as a steady process, they're making money, uh, do that. That's what I'm doing, but I'm not participating in this silver squeeze thing. I think it's silly. Don't buy into it, guys. Thanks, Peg. What's up, everybody? Patriot Stacker here. Do not participate in this silver raid on May 15th. I think it is just ridiculous. It does nothing positive for us silver stackers. All it will do is increase silver premiums like it did the last time we saw this happen. Paper silver and physical silver are totally different. It doesn't really work like that. We're not going to create a silver shortage you know, just do not participate in this silver raid. I say stick to your normal budget, buy silver the same way you have been for as long as you've been stacking. There's no reason to go out and buy as much silver as you possibly can, hoping to, you know, stick it to the man. It's really not going to do anything positive for any of us. No to the silver raid. That's my opinion. Uh, I think that it just has an adverse effect on the community and as a lot of people who are much smarter than I am, who have been stacking a lot longer than I have, uh, have all pointed out, all this really does is drive the price on premiums up. What uh, a lot of people are concerned with, which I would definitely agree with, is a lot of newcomers and a lot of uh, people overspending. You know, I understand how exciting it could be to be part of something. So if you have a group of people, you know, like-minded people, in this case, you know, stacking silver and they're like, hey, you know, on this day, we're all just gonna buy a bunch of silver. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna drive the price up and then it can sell all your silver. Well, it just doesn't work out that way. And what ends up happening is people end up spending money they don't have uh, on silver and they get stuck with it. And sometimes at higher prices than they want to. And it's particularly bad for people who are new to the community and they don't really just understand it. Hearing something like a silver raid sounds exciting, but I just don't want anyone to fall victim into getting excited about this whole event and then dumping a bunch of money they don't have on silver and then feeling like they're stuck with it. It's definitely not a way to get people interested into the hobby and it can hurt people. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. The bottom line and the point I'm making is stack at your own pace and do what makes sense for your budget. Group silver rate events have been organized in the past and we've seen them continuing. Lies are being mixed with the truth. These events are advertised as fun. And valid reasons for stacking silver such as a hedge against inflation and a means of wealth preservation are peppered with overtones of doing your part, aspirations of breaking the COMEX, and a silver moonshot. The outcome has been nothing but the opportunity for the largest online bullion dealers to inflate premiums to unacceptable levels. 
Stack precious metals at your own pace because after all, they're tangible, intrinsically valued hard assets. There's no higher reason or worthwhile cause beyond us all to feel pressured into an organized raid. Stack white as the ocean. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hey YouTube, Vertical Stacker here, and yeah, I, th I thought that was going to work differently. I've been hearing all kinds of things about this silver raid, and try as I might, I just you know put down this brand new American Silver Eagle, and I, I raided the heck out of that thing, and all I did was probably lose money. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me, right? A specified day let's get a bunch of people to go out and buy a bunch of silver and miraculously that's gonna make silver do what nothing really it's gonna do nothing and if you didn't know it before well take a look you know it now it didn't do anything to help that silver just like it won't do anything to increase the value of silver these silver raids might be gimmicks they might be kind of cute they might be kind of fun but frankly they're meaningless. Do organized raids increase premiums and hurt stackers? Let me know in the comments. Stack wide as the ocean.